Hey, I'm Chris Velasco with TechCrunch, and today Motorola has finally, finally unveiled its Moto X smartphone. And with me, I've got Motorola VP of Sales Giancarlo Fasolo to kind of take us through a quick look at the Moto X. Giancarlo, good to see you. Good to see you, Chris. Thanks for being here. Yeah, absolutely. So, what are we looking at here? This is it. This is the all-new Moto X. It's the first product from Motorola, now as a Google company. There's three things you got to know about the product. First of all, it's made for you to fit your hand perfectly. So you'll notice that it's got this beautiful curved back that fills the dead space in your hand really nicely. And even though it's compact, we've got this beautiful, big 4.7-inch display. We've pushed it to the corner, so even though it's compact, you get that big screen experience, too. Uh, next, it is built to respond to you. There's three cool demos. The first is something we call always on voice or actually touchless control. Mm -hmm. So um, a great use case is, um, let's say you want to use your phone but your hands are tied up. Maybe you're driving your car and you want to ask Google for directions or you're cooking and your hands are dirty and you want to know how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon. Or like I did last night, I'm in bed, the lights are off, I don't know where my phone is and I want to set my alarm. Mm -hmm. I don't have to touch my phone, I can simply say, Okay, Google now, set my alarm for 6 a.m. And you can see here, even in this really noisy environment, thanks to that X8 mobile computing system that we have on board of Moto X, they could still pick up my voice, set my alarm, and even though I'm in the dark, don't even have my phone, I have the confidence to know I actually made it on time today. <laughs> the touchless controls are sort of trained to your voice, so once you set it up, it's ideally only meant to be used by you. Absolutely. Is it possible for someone else to activate that with their voice? Yeah, it's not a security kind of measure, if you will. It's more of a nuisance uh, avoidance tool. So basically, if it's just you in a room, only you know you are going to be able to do it. But in a really noisy environment, somebody might be able to trigger it. But nine times out of 10, if not more, it's just going to respond to your voice. Gotcha. And then you can also pin lock it as well, certain features. So. Um, there's certain things that only you'll be able to do and you'll be protected with security. Now another great way that uh, Moto X uh, responds to you is with active display. So I'm going to set a quick notification here and I'm going to shut the display. Now normally we keep up with our messages by constantly chasing that blinking green light on your phone and um, basically you know you're constantly trying to catch up with your device. So uh, with active display you can see the display is quietly breathing giving me the latest greatest information um, and I can touch at any time to take a quick view like you see here and jump in if I want to. So that's a real quick look at it, Chris. Uh, there's so much more to check out at Motorola.com and thanks for being here today.